Okay, we're back. We're going to put this under 2500 in and change the camera angle a little. Maybe that's a little better. We'll see how this one goes. Double double bonus, $5 coin. 2500 bucks. During the making of this video, I had certain challenges with the audio portion of it. So I deleted the soundtrack for about 25% of this rather than just trashing the whole session. I appreciate your patience. Thank you. I can definitely see a lot better and it doesn't interfere with the buttons. So let's go to $10 coin, bonus poker. See if this little puppy will give me another thousand bucks back. You'll notice on this session with the frequency of hits, I hit quite a few jacks or better and two pair. I think between the two of them, I hit at least 70 of those. And that's what keeps you in the game long enough for good uh, hands to come around. So be mindful of that. Keep an eye out for how many times I hit two pair, three of a kind, flushes, full houses, straights. Uh, they all add up to having a good win at the end. And remember, it won't be silent the whole time throughout this session, just certain parts of it. Thank you for your patience. That was a nice full house there. I wish it could have been quad fours, but I'll take it for $400. Flushes came around quite a bit in this session uh, for a sweet $250. And also, as far as three of a kinds go, I had over 13 of those in this session, which means you're playing with house money a lot of the time. And that's exactly where you want to be, playing with house money, exposing yourself to the royal flush on high coin denominations. That's a major component of winning at this game. Another three of a kind, followed by another three of a kind, followed by another three of a kind. That's $450, folks. I love three of a kinds. And in this video, quite a few of them show up, as you can see. And you know how elusive flushes can be, and I got quite a few of them in this video, thankfully. As you remember, we started this uh, little crash, crash and burn session at, uh, ooh, could have been 40 grand right there. Anyway, we started this little session at 5,000. We're back at four now. That's one aspect of the game that's very important. If you're able to just maintain the bankroll close to what you started with, you put yourself in a really good position for some really big royals if you're playing high denomination coin and you're able to just maintain that bankroll.
And I can play much easier because now I can see the screen, I can touch the buttons, I can actually focus on the game. Flush come to save the day. Let's hit some fours. Or a straight flush. <laughs> Two pair. I'll take anything that pays. Anything that'll pay you and get you back up to where you started with all these shots at the Royal, even if they don't materialize right now, you're having the free shots at them. So since we started with $2,500 bankroll and we're now at $3,700, we're playing with house money, and that's what I mean by free shots at the Royal. Just using house money to win. Really needed a full house, 400 bucks. I definitely need something to convert here. There you go, there's your conversion. I got a flush. Two pair. Let's get four aces. Four of anything. And I think this is just about the last of the silent treatment, so to speak, on this video. I really do appreciate your being tough and sticking it out with me on this. Thank you very much. Man, I was hoping some of those three of a kinds would uh, convert into quads. Uh, it just didn't happen right there. Quads happen about one out of every 425 hands. So by that measure, you should probably have two quads every hour or so, hopefully. At least that's the long-term averages. Just keep giving me two pairs. Throw me a quad or something like that and we're out of here for now. <laughs> this has been a little bit of a brutal beating. <laughs> and a good teaching point for myself and everybody watching.
One thing you'll notice about this video, I was still playing too quickly. In all future videos, I'll be playing at the slowest speed possible on the machine. Uh, that's better for the viewer. It's also better for me so I don't make as many mistakes while playing. Thank you for your patience. Definitely needed a full house for 400 bucks. for the Royal on this one. She's staying somewhat even, so I'm going to keep pushing it. All I need is one good hit here. If it starts to sink, I'll get off. You can see why the two pairs are so critical on this game. They keep you in the game. And if you're in the game long enough, the right cards come around, eventually you hit those royals. You happen to be on Bitcoin when those royal hit. It's a game changer for sure. One thing I like about playing high denomination like this, only takes a few good hits to, to get back up to where you need to be.
into the bankroll, had to really pull ourselves out of it, that's why you need a second bankroll to back it up, we backed it up, and we're back up to 5,000, and we're up 475, so at least we're back to even, so they'll be coming to pay me soon, I'm going to take a pause here, we'll get back to you. So these nice folks came over, they watch Slot Massacre, they're gonna watch John's World of Video Poker. Yep. What's your name? Justin Scarborough. Justin, awesome. Yep. And his wife doesn't want right, to be on camera? Right up there. Okay. She I'll does respect her camera. wishes. <laughs> yep. So, anyway, yeah, I'm congratulations on your hit. All right, man. I appreciate it. Yep. Check nice me meeting. out. And oh, I will. Awesome. Me. I'll stay today. in touch with you. I appreciate it. Yep. Thank you, guys. Yep. Thank you. Okay. I'm sorry, man. Congratulations. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, two thousand. Do you have any change at all? Or? Yes. Backup spin or something and we'll go from there. 